Hello, my name is Keith Tucker. I'm with Spec Sample Prep in Metuchen, New Jersey. Today I'm here to introduce our new 2010 Geno Grinder, the ultimate in sample preparation for high throughput plant or animal tissue homogenization. Today I want to give you uh, the, an overview of how flexible this particular instrument is. It actually can do anything from a 96 well format all the way up to 50 mLs in a runtime for uh, a runtime actually on the average of one to two minutes. First I'll show you how the Geno Grinder is originally designed for doing tighter plates. The system is, uh, comes with a standard clamp which is, allows you to do two tighter plates uh, simultaneously and usually the disruption times are between one and two minutes. This same clamp will allow you to do different formats all the way to 15 mLs or actually 5 mLs, increasing throughput as you, as you go. First I'll show you exactly how easily it is to disrupt samples in a Geno Grinder. We have a sophisticated ball dropper here that we were designed by, by Sample Prep. This will actually introduce the balls to the well before actually introducing your samples and your buffer solution. So one touch of the button here will actually drop the balls in the well. Once the balls are in the well, you can actually now start adding your sample to the well and or your buffer solution. It can be run dry or wet. Then the tighter plate is set into the system with the cat mat, clamp down to a nice tight snug, close the lid, and then program the time, your run times into the system. This is easily done by adjusting this knob here to the left, which will adjust all the way up to 20 minutes, which is not necessary. Typical run times are one to two minutes. This first exercise we're going to do is only going to last for 30 minutes, 30 seconds, at, three, at 1,350 strokes per minute. That is easily adjusted as well with just turning the knob. Once you've had your parameters set into the Geno Grinder, you just push the button to lock everything in so that any user that comes in can actually put their samples in and actually push the button and start to go. By pushing the green button, we'll start the Geno Grinder running. Once the system reaches its zero, it automatically stops. Then take the sample out of the clamp assembly, put into a centrifuge, and spin the samples down to get your supernatant to the bottom of the tighter plate and do your extracting methods. The Geno Grinder can also be used for cryogenic grinding, also grinding samples up to 50 mLs. This is the standard clamp once again. We also have a large clamp assembly which allows you to do four tighter plates at one time, 16 50 mLs at one time, you can do 30, 15 mLs at one time. Uh, you can do an array of different formats and samplings uh, within one to two minutes. As you can see, by taking this out, replacing this with this, you know, stacking them, you can actually do a number of different samples at one time. The throughput is tremendous. The Geno Grinder is also capable of doing samples at cryogenic uh, temperatures, low temperatures, almost at liquid nitrogen temperatures. With our specially designed vials that we have here, some of our vials here, these are all manufactured by Spec Sample Prep, 15 mLs, as well as the 5 mLs that are specifically designed for low temperature grinding. Next, I'd like to show you some of the samples that were accomplished uh, by using the Geno Grinder. First, we have 
rice as you can see this is before and this is after nice fine powder we also have dog food this has been particularly interested uh, interesting uh, in the research community for the melamine studies that they're looking at. This is actually the dog food afterwards. Soybean. This is very interesting. Uh, a lot of companies uh, use soybean for a lot of their research. And lastly, corn. Finally, I would like to talk about our cryo station. The cryo station is a, the company's our Geno Grinder. It is an option, but it allows you to do samples down to liquid nitrogen temperatures without touching uh, liquid nitrogen. What we will first do is pour liquid nitrogen inside of the port here. About three liters of liquid nitrogen should fill this to the top. The, the system will also stay cold for approximately three hours at minus 192, almost liquid nitrogen levels. But what could be accomplished here is that, as you can see, we have different formats as well as for the tighter plates for keeping samples cold while you're grinding, especially for people who are doing RNA and protein extractions or samples that are just heat sensitive. But you can see we have different vials that are designed for low temperature grinding and they fit right into the format of the blocks that we have designed. That is, that is a trademark that we have called Cryotech Accessories and you can log on to our website and, and view more of the products that we have to offer. We also have formats for the 5 ml. We have a very popular format which is a 48 well for the 2 ml uh, uh, micro centrifuge tubes which lots of uh, scientists like to use due to the amount of volume and uh, throughput that they're able, they're able to, uh, to work with. <laughs> Lastly, I would like to invite you to visit our website at www.specscsp.com where you can view a full range of sample preparation equipment as well as reference materials.